These guys care about sports. The talk continues after the cameras stop rolling. Watch Final Take only right here on SPTV for anything pointers, anything sports. Serving a campus of 9,600 strong, we are the home of UWSP Television, we are SPTV. You can find us on Charter Channel 983, online, or on any of our social media sites. Be a part of something super Greek at UWSP. There are nine chapters and colonies on campus. Phi Sigma Phi, Gamma Phi Delta, Theta Xi, Sigma Delta Rho, Sigma Tau Gamma, Delta Phi Epsilon, Tau Kappa Epsilon, Phi Mu Alpha Sinfonia, and Phi Omega. Greek life at UWSB is a great way to build your personal support system and resume. With Greek life at UWSP, you won't just be a member, but a happy friend to the chapters and colonies for life. See what opportunities Greek life could offer you. Great opportunity to promote leadership, a great way to get connections, and also to build bonds between different groups. You get the opportunity to grow yourself as a leader and as a person, both through your organization and connections through Inner Greek Council and other avenues like that. Greek life isn't what you see in the movies. I recommend checking out one of the recruitment events for the organizations and just seeing maybe you belong there. My name is Lance Castor. I graduated from UW Stevens Point in 2014. I started at SPTV my junior year. I was looking for a fun experience that also provided me with a chance to learn something, and SPTV was the place to come. Right now, I'm employed at WFRV-TV, the CBS affiliate located in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I, I can handle it because of what I was able to learn here at SPTV. You can be as creative as you want here. The only limits are those that you put on yourself. Those limits will just... The Love Doctor is in. Catch all the college romance, dating culture, and love advice from the Love Doctor herself. Michaela Hilgart is the Love Doctor, only right here on SPTV. Hi, I'm Laura Braun, the General Manager at SPTV. I'm a Stevens Point native and want to make sure that we're providing you with the best local coverage of all the news, sports, and entertainment as we possibly can. If you have any questions or comments about our organization, feel free to email us or stop by our offices. We're located in the Communication Arts Center at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point and can't wait to meet you because today we can make media together. Don't have a television? Don't worry. SPTV is available on demand at uwsp.edu slash sptv. Find your favorite shows on our website, plus links to all of our YouTube content. Stay up to date with SPTV news that includes information about campus and community happenings. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, we're sptv-uwsp television. SPTV, let's make media together.
Busy student life? No problem. You can catch Final Take on the go in HD by following us on our website. Final Take, for anything pointers, anything sports. My name is Jackie Lang. I graduated from UW-Stevens Point in 2013. I started off coming to general members meetings, showing up for the shows from the first show that I was a part of. I just absolutely loved it. Now that I've graduated, I currently work at WFRV-TV, which is Channel 5, the CBS affiliate in Green Bay. I also freelance for Lashboro Visual Communications. All of my experience, all of my knowledge came from SPTV and I will forever be grateful to this organization for that. How can you get involved with student media at UWSP? Connecting with your campus television station, SBTV, is easy. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Vine, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Pinterest, follow us on Instagram, or connect with us on Google+. But of course, the best way for you to get involved and stay up to date with all that is happening at our station is to stop by our studio. We're located in the Communication Arts Center at UWSP, Studio B, Room 121. You can also drop by our office, Room 130, for more information on station happenings. We can't wait to get you involved. Come join us at SPTV. Let's make media together. Star Wars games have an odd history of ranging from pretty good to downright terrible. It's hard to get a Star Wars game out that pleases all the fans. But there's one game that will entertain not just the most diehard of Star Wars fans, but any gamer as well. That game is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a third-person shooter developed by Pandemic Studios and published by LucasArts. Released in 2005 for the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PC systems, and released in 2009 for the PlayStation Portable and Xbox 360. Battlefront 2 not only maintains the excellent mechanics and gameplay from its previous installment, but expands upon them to create an entirely new experience that's guaranteed to keep players coming back years later. Battlefront 2 takes a different approach from typical Star Wars games. Instead of playing as one of the main characters from the movies, you're put into the role of a common soldier, taking part in one of the many massive battles throughout the Star Wars universe. The game is split into two eras, the Clone Wars and the Galactic Civil War, with each era having two factions to pick from. The Clone Wars will always pit the Republic against the Confederacy, and the Galactic Civil War has the Empire facing off against the Rebellion. Players have the ability to pick between one of six classes for each faction, with each class specializing in a specific role. Whether you're into sniping from afar, blowing up vehicles, or running and gunning, there's a class for everyone. In the waning months of the Clone Wars, the 501st faced missions critical to the agenda of Chancellor Palpatine. When we arrived at the bombed-out ruins of Maigiro, our Jedi commander believed we had been sent to take out a droid energy collector. Star Wars Battlefront 2 changes up its campaign in a way that puts it leagues ahead of what its predecessor had. Instead of picking a faction and fighting three or four key battles from the movies as that faction, you instead follow the story of a soldier who fought in multiple battles throughout the Clone Wars and Galactic Civil War. You'll have mission objectives to complete during each battle, such as eliminating specific enemies, defending key positions, and capturing objects of importance, instead of the classic capture command posts and kill enemy soldiers. The variety of objectives for each mission helps keep the campaign fresh and varied over completing the same objective every time to win. One of the game's key new features is the addition of space combat. Fans asked for it and Pandemic Studios delivered, offering free play maps and several story missions where you can hop into an X-Wing, TIE Fighter, or several other types of ships to battle it out in the darkness of space. 
Space combat has just as much freedom as ground combat, giving players the option to try dogfighting against other fighters, using the bomber to destroy key sections of the opponent's capital ship, or even allowing players to board the enemy ship and destroy it from the inside. Another of Battlefront 2's newest game features is the addition of heroes for all four factions. Players who do well enough in a match are given the option to take the role of one of the faction's heroes, always one of the main characters from the movies. You'll be running around as Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, Boba Fett, Darth Vader, and more to dominate the battlefield in your favor. When you're finished playing through the campaign, Battlefront 2 continues to give hours of enjoyable gameplay through instant action games players can set up. The classic conquest game mode of capturing command posts and eliminating all the enemy's forces is still here, but gamers will be pleased to know that it isn't all that's available. New game modes have been added to keep the game from getting repetitive. Capture the flag for both space and ground maps, hunt where you can play as a native species such as Ewoks or Wookiees against an enemy faction, and Hero Assault, a mode that acts like a Star Wars celebrity deathmatch, pitting the heroes of each faction against the villains. In addition, Battlefront's Galactic Conquest mode makes a return in this sequel, but has been completely updated. Players pick a faction and command fleets around the galaxy, conquering and protecting planets. Credits gained from doing well in these ground and space battles can be used to buy new character classes, additional fleets, or bonuses to give your side the advantage when attacking or defending planets. The game mode can be played both cooperatively or competitively with friends. For all its fun, however, Star Wars Battlefront 2 does suffer from a few issues here and there. While the computer AI has been improved since the previous game, it still won't give you much of a challenge, even on its hardest difficulty. Enemies and allies alike will run right into incoming fire, walk into walls, and sprint off legends to their death. And sorry to say, fans of online play, but in July of 2014, the official online servers for Battlefront 2 were shut down for PC, PlayStation 2, and Xbox systems. If you want to play against other people on the console, you'll have to settle with getting some friends together for split-screen play. If you've ever wanted to put yourself on the front lines of Star Wars' most memorable, epic battles, this is the game for you. The sheer number of units on the battlefield, variety of vehicles and units, addition of space combat and heroes, as well as multiple game modes make this game worth the money. Whether you're driving an AT-AT on Hoth, fighting through the forest on Endor, or dogfighting in space, Battlefront 2 will let you relive the greatest Star Wars battles however you like in that galaxy far, far away. My name is Julia Flaherty. I'm the current promotions director at SBTV. My job allows for me to have a lot of personal creative direction because that is the team environment that we instill here at SBTV. This past summer, I had the opportunity to write for HerCampus.com as well as TheDailyQuirk.com. Personally, I feel that being involved with SBTV has really helped boost my confidence and my ability to network with other students. If Student media is something that interests you, and even if you're not really sure what student media means, you should stop by our studios. We are looking forward to having you involved this year, and we cannot wait to make media with you. Serving a campus of 9,600 strong, we are the home of UWSP Television, we are SPTV. You can find us on Charter Channel 983, online, or on any of our social media sites. Got an itch to be on air? Join the SBTV News Crew. Being an on and off air reporter will help you gain experience in interviewing, 